All right, guys, so today we are taking a look at the Bark River Knives, or BRK Bravo 1. And this one is, of course, in its classic configuration with the thumb ramp and a two-tool steel. Now, you can get these blades in many different options, from things like CPM Crewwear to CPM 3V, uh, S35VN, of course, a two-tool steel, and a wide variety of other steels. You can get them rampless or with ramped, but mine, like I said, is in its pretty classic configuration. I think the only thing that isn't stock or is an option is that the handle from factory is not uh, polished or glossy. It is a uh, kind of matte finish. And uh, conversely, there is a bit more traction. So aside from that, that's basically this knife. It's a pretty basic setup, but still a very fantastic knife. Now the Bravo one is really the blade for many people that kind of put Bark River on the map. This of course was originally designed for the Marines after a specification or after a request was made. They designed this knife specifically for uh, Marine operatives and that's kind of how it got to be. And because of that, things like the thumb ramp and the overall kind of design of the blade is very militaresque or tactical and it is designed that way because of course it's designed for the marines so Aside from that though, it does have a lot of very good use and very practical use for wilderness survival. Similar to the Falkneven family of blades, this is a quarter inch or very close to quarter inch thick piece of steel that is convex ground. And I think when you have that very thick blade, very heavy duty blade, it can take a lot of abuse. And when you add it with, or add on top of that, the convex nature of this blade, you do get a very good performer that is very slicey, very fine-tuned, and very good at cutting. Now, the one downside to convex grinds, as you guys can kind of see here, I am using a lot of blades today and doing a lot of knife testing. So uh, it's kind of hard to swap from a more traditional grind, like a flat grind or full flat grind, over to a convex and do things like feather sticking because they are just a little bit different on how you hold the knife. But of course, you can get some good feathers out of this blade and it is very, very sharp. Now this one was one that I got from a subscriber, so very much appreciated and thank you to that guy or thank you to the subscriber. It is always appreciated uh, when subscribers help me out with knives, especially for the channel and for the collection as a whole. It is very fun and I definitely enjoy the interaction. So anyways, uh, aside from that, um, this blade is really cool and it's honestly, so this blade is really growing on me. Now I've seen Bark River Bravo ones for a long time. Of course I've had a Bravo, or so I've had a uh, Bushcrafter and a Aurora for close to nine years. So I'm not f unfamiliar with the Bravo one, but the Bravo one never really attracted me quite like, I never really quite thought it would be a good blade for me or quite the right fit, but I did end up grabbing this one and I actually do really like it. And like I said, it is starting to grow on me. Definitely a really cool kind of survival knife and it has a lot of uh, similarities to my one of my favorite survival knives, the CRK Pacific. From things like the thumb ramp to the ergonomics, it is pretty similar and almost kind of like a scaled down version of the Pacific, which I definitely dig. So that is, kind of uh, why I like it. and It is definitely starting to grow on me quite a bit. Now, of course, like I said, the big difference is the fact that it is a little bit thicker and it does have that convex grind. But I'm also starting to, primarily due to my Falknevens, kind of re-warm up to the convex grinds and like them a little bit more. So I'm definitely not opposed to trying out this convex grind and its performance has been quite nice so far. So as far as it goes, when it comes down to this blade, I think that honestly, this, if you are in the market for a smaller, either duty knife, tactical kind of combat survival blade, or ultimately a go-to survival knife, the Bravo one is really hard to go wrong with. It does have a lot of attributes that are very desirable. And I think one of the biggest pros to this blade is kind of Bark River's overall um, ability for you to get multiple different steels. Of course, like I said, you can get this 
with the ramp or without the ramp. Personally, I don't really mind the ramp. A lot of people were expecting me probably to dislike it, but in my opinion, it's very easy to overcome with your thumb because it's not a very large ramp. So if you just put your thumb over it, you're not really going to run into it. And once again, very similar to my CRK Pacific. Now the Pacific, I did round off the thumb ramp a little bit because it was a little sharp and a little bit tall, but honestly, this one is great. You can just put your thumb right over it without issue and uh, it's really not a problem. So, uh, <clears throat> like I said though, the cool thing is you can get them rampless, you can get them in a plethora of steels and different handle options. And one of the other things that I do love about Park River is as per usual, Park River does a bang up job with ergonomics. This blade is very comfy to hold on to and to handle for long periods of time. There are absolutely no hot spots and you can really do a wide variety of tasks from things such as notching to carving to feather sticking, batoning, you know, you're not going to get hand shock when you baton. Um, these are some really thick slabs of micarta, so they definitely fill your hand very well. And that's part of, honestly, half the reason I love this blade is just because it's so darn comfortable to hold. And think what you will about Bark River Knives or uh, Mike Stewart, but he does a really excellent job when it comes to ergonomics and making sure that a knife just feels right in your hand. Uh, from my Aurora to my Bushcrafter to the... Uh, Bravo to even some of the ambush knives that I've owned. Uh, this knife is really just just another one of those that is very well crafted, very well made, and definitely a fat, becoming a fast staple in my collection and in my carry. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed seeing the Bark River Knives Bravo one. It's not the last time you'll see it. Definitely looking forward to carrying this knife more and featuring it in more application videos. But uh, until then, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.